G'day guys, Screw it from UHRC here, and today, in this very first episode, we're going to be checking out this 1988 1/14 scale ready to rum Kyushu Sky Bomber. Um, now, there's not a lot of information out there about these from my research. I couldn't find a lot, and there's not many people who know much about them. All I know is that it seemed to be the competitor for Tammy's Tamtex, um, and same sort of setup, 9 volt battery. Looks like eight double A's, even a ooh, even a factory option rechargeable for the car itself. Um, you can get additional items for it, but yeah, I saw this in Yahoo Japan auctions. Um, it was real good price. I couldn't not buy it. So let's chuck it on the bench. We'll open it up, have a look at it, see what's inside, and we'll also probably have a bit of a look around, and you can see my mess of things which we need to sort of clean and make this a nice tidy little home for UHRC where I'll be doing lots of RC videos mainly on vintage cars um, but new stuff as well and some racing footage on-road stuff basically just going through all my RC stuff and talking about it what I've done how many um, but yeah basically this is the sort of I guess this could be the car which has got me back into RC in the last, geez, been almost 15 years, I think. So, yeah, welcome to the channel. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, smash the bell. Good old, good old bell. Um, and let's get straight into it. Anyway, let's unpack it. All right, so. Whoa. Well, there you go. Hmm. Got some English there on the side. Tells you that it's got a large reinforced protective front bumper friction type shocks oil fill type available as an option now that'll be something i'll try and find sleek streamlined body selector lever oh for final drive oh no way it's got high and low gears oh that's sick that's like a that's like the old like tayo jet hoppers and super jet hoppers and stuff that's cool Powerful custom design Le Mans X5 motor included. Well, you'd hope it come with a motor. Um, low profile high grip off road pin type tyres, stylish strong wheels, and a gear type diff. Oh, look. oh, yeah, there you go. Picture of the Le Mans motor, and it looks like it's doing a burnout. So, maybe this thing's rear wheel drive. Alright, let's get it out of the box. Now, I'm massively sorry to anyone because this. For a fact, it's styrofoam, so we'll see how we go. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's sit the lid over there. Now that says RC Modeler. Let's just put that to the side for a second and check out this buggy. Let's just put this down here. That's just got a normal remote in it. Oh, that is so 80s. That is so cool. It's got all the sticks. Oh, Bridgestone. So it would have been licensed then back in the day. I don't know if it's got... Oh, yeah. Bridgestone. Oh, we've got Kyosho Bridgestone. Sand Super. 265-65-15. Hmm. Yeah. So definitely rear-wheel drive. Um, I love I love that. That is so cool. Sky Bomber 14X. Even says hooker headers on it. Wow. It's even got, oh, I can put my name on it. Sky Bomber for the next. Yeah, this is really cool. Look at that. All right, so we've got that. There's those friction dampers at the back. Yeah, that quality. The friction dampers at the front. Actually, that's, that's let's say the drop test. Maybe not a drop test on this table. That's damn good suspension for friction dampers. Alright, now, this is something I did not know about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's on the back. I don't know if you guys can see. But there is the high and low switch. Click. Click. I think we might put it on low. Nah, definitely be on high. Alright. Oh, that is such a cool piece of kit. That is so 80s. Alright. Let's keep that here. Now, RC Modeler. Hmm. Let's have a look at that. It says Kyosho on it, so... Have a look. Alright. Ooh. This. 
Oh, that's so cool. All right, so this is like one of those brochures. Oh, wow. Definitely 80s vibes going on here. Okay, they've got two-wheel drive. Oh, and the FF. Oh, the closure FF. Now, if you don't know what that is, that is a front-wheel drive off-road buggy. So if you can find one, they're awesome. Um, I've seen one run before. I've never driven one, but I've always wanted an FF just because they were so unique. So, yeah, so there's all your, at the time, closure did what we got. Two on-roads. Oh, three on roads, a couple of Formula One cars, motorbikes, and here's, here's these off road buggies. Awesome, that's cool. There's the Ultima. So, an Ultima, an 80s Ultima was 21,800 yen. So, in today's money, that's about, what's that? About two, 250 Australian, 250 bucks. And if you wanted, oh, geez, it's all it's all in Japanese. Japanese or that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh the nostalgia of this is awesome. Oh they got oh they got planes planes on the back. Oh I think we have to scan this and put some photos up. That's that's awesome. Alright, what else we got? Whoa okay this is cool. So I've got the manual. Now um it's 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 not in English. Let's have a look. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What are these? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got everything there. Oh, yeah. If I turn left, turn right. That does that. Oh, it's got a throttle and steering tube. Yeah, just as I suspected. A nine volt battery and a couple of double A's. Oh, wow. Oh, full, full spread. Shows you everything. That's awesome. Lock in battery, put the eight double A's in there, turn it on, turn that on. That accelerates, they're awesome. And then, yeah, then there's your low and high. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. And the fact it's all, all in Japanese. No, no English, no nothing. All right. Now these pamphlets just came out of it. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Um, we've got, oh. Kyushu's Kyushu Owners Club. Wow. So, so obviously back back when you used to buy a new RC car or a reach run car, you get all these pamphlets and brochures and things like that um, to sort of entice you to buy more cars and look at that. There's an off-road one-tenth track and an on-road one-twelfth. All right, what else is in the box? Well, not really in the box. What else is in the paperwork here? Oh, whoa, look at that. Woo! original stickers so they must have got two sets of them is there oh no they're the lines on that yeah okay that's such a cool looking buggy awesome Le Mans Le Mans racing motor then we've got another set we've got another brochure of oh there you go we also did a 14 14x in a turbo optima in a turbo optima style so you got Sky Bomber and a Turbo Optima. Oh, I'll have to try. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Whoa. That's cool. Let's you know how all the um, transmission and everything works. Same as like reading like Tammy. Like Tammy instructions, really. That's cool. Oh, I've got two of them. So there's two of them. Even an aftermarket AC charger for the specific well, know, factory assembly series. Shows you where your little um, crystal goes for your remote. Now this, now if I'm not mistaken, this would be for you to fill out and possibly order parts. So it says Koyoshi, it's got a phone number there, but everything else is is not in English, so I can't understand it. But it does have EP 18th, 110th, 18th G, which possibly 18th gas or nitro. But that, that could actually be for you to order parts. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, another one. Oh, there you go. The remote's got throttle trim and steering trim. Nice little information there. And we've got... Yeah, this that order form must be... So there you go. It's got a postcard and everything on that. It's got a whole heap of tick boxes and everything. 
and all says Koyosho and it looks like parts. So that must be what you used to have to do back in the day. Instead of going to your local hobby shop, maybe you'd send this directly to Koyosho and say, hey, I want this, this, and this upgrade. That's awesome. That is, that's just awesome history. And yeah, this, I'm so happy with that. That suspension is, it, it reminds me of the Grasshopper, um, the way the suspension is, but yeah, rear wheel drive, eight double A batteries, 27 megahertz, Kayoshu. Oh, this actually says made in Korea. There you go, maybe, maybe it was Korean before it was Kayoshu Japan. Hmm. I don't think it's been run very much. These tires are awesome. They actually, wow, well, actually feel, they, they feel like, the, the tire feel is like this. This is a brand new DT-03, the new sort of re-release of a Neo Fighter buggy and a DT-03, a very sort of basic, you can get them as an expert build or you can buy them as a kid, awesome for the kids. Um, but the tires, like for this to be 1988 and they're not perished, like my other Scorpion, that's just, that's awesome. That's, that's cool, big bumper. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, that's sick. We're gonna have to get some footage of that racing. But yeah, even on the, oh, look at the box art. 